So we're back in Sydney. We can't check into our hotel just yet. So we got some time to walk around. But we're gonna go for lunch with a friend. The weather is perfect, so I'm good. So just randomly strolling along the beautiful pier. bus right now to watch the sneak premiere. It's not a preview, it's not the world premiere, it's the sneak premiere of Assassin's Creed because the world has not seen this uh, and I'm pretty excited. <laughs> okay, so we're in the cinema now. We are gonna watch a movie which well, I can't record again but I'll see you guys after this. A pretty sick setup here. I can almost blow that wall here. Oh, yeah. oh, That's okay. so oh, is that a coffee? Oh my gosh! Thank you for bringing it in. Oh, check it out. That's right, guys. This is Jakun here. Don't even know if we're in an airplane now. Wow. So we're just done watching the movie. Absolutely incredible. We'll talk more about it, but man, solid. I'm going to watch it again. Having some dinner here today. Just having some late dinner. These amazing people stayed back past their closing time. What the fix is this? We got double cheese, bro. We got ribs. Thanks so much for cooking for us. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So cute, it's wood. Oh, it's so cute. So we finished watching Assassin's Creed tonight. 8 out of 10. Uh, and that is, yeah, that, that's us saying 8 out of 10. As, as a fan of the game, I think they did it justice. Mm. And it was a very interesting twist on the storyline. Most importantly, they did not make it cheesy. Like with all the action, the animus, the VFX, and the free running, and parkour so stuff. It's really Art director thing. was amazing. Yeah. If you guys are still wondering if you should watch it, I'd say go for it. I don't have any expectations because that's the best way to watch a movie. Yeah. That's we were, how we went in as well. We were blown away. Because I was scared, like, you know, you're never really sure how a video game movie is going to come out. Day 2 and we are on the way to meet the cast of Assassin's Creed and the director and talk to them for a bit. But it's going to be pretty cool. I think this is where we're supposed to be. Oh. Fox before, I think. Why, Why Assassin's, Assassin's Creed? Creed? Okay, um, <laughs> just because I found it to be such a fascinating universe and, and world. Well, Michael asked me, and I was desperate to work with him again. And then the idea of it, the idea of sort of someone learning about who they are and what tribe they come from in life through through history, through their sort of ancestral kind of heritage and their DNA and their blood, I thought was really original. There were uh, themes uh, that I had never explored in a movie, like uh, violence and free will. And I loved the character, the fact that she's a scientist, but at the same time, she questions herself on a lot of uh, levels. A lot of people thought that it was going to be about Desmond and Ezio, Ezio and yeah. the whole first three kind of thing. What was it that made you decide that, no, I'm not going to do Ezio, Ezio. I'm going to do my own story? Well, a lot yeah. of it was Ubisoft yeah. kind of wanting to, to have, you know, offer the fans and also a broad audience a, a different experience. Yeah. I think we all felt slightly uncomfortable about, you know, yeah. doing our interpretation or appropriate appropriation of these characters. Mm -hmm. But it, it was, we always knew that the present day was going to be very important, that the film needed to be a kind of origin story yeah. of someone who didn't know they were assassin and then mm. learn about that through their past. Mm. So that all kind of opened up to having a, a, an original story, an mm. original time period to go to. We are assassins. So there are two really big peoples in this in this film, the Templars and the Assassins. And they stand for, well, pretty much the same thing. They want peace and they want what's right in, in their own sense. If they existed in this world, which side do you think you'd be on and why? 
Yeah. I would be on a different, on, on a, a totally third different yeah, Why side. So? Why so? Because I believe that uh, people should be united so we can find a way to peace. You have to show him who he really is. Whenever it comes to the Assassin's Creed, there's a lot of principles and values that all these different people hold. Personally, what are your own thoughts or experience when it comes to, uh, firstly, sacrifice and duty above self? Uh, depending on the cause, I suppose. Definitely. In the modern age, there's, we, we concentrate very much on ourselves. Uh, very much the I as opposed to the we and the idea that everybody is special and I think we've really latched on to that and forgotten um, this, you know, the, the concept of strength in numbers. I'm beginning to like this. So, Michael, um, we're really here for one thing. Uh, everyone's out of the room. Can we be a part of okay. the assassins? Yeah. Like, we want in. I want in on okay. the Brotherhood. For, for what reasons? I mean, what do you want out of this You creed? look real good in the hood, I like man. the hood. You like the outfits? <laughs> and the blades. She, she. Maybe a bit okay. of jumping. I think we can do something. Yeah, you're in. But there's just one thing. You gotta yeah. chop your fingers off. Did you bring uh, a blade with you? No, I need. I need my finger. Uh, just the one. It's just the one. We just need one each. I've got a. I've got a bit of a stomach ache. I'm gonna go. Oh, okay. thanks. Oh, thanks. Okay. Bro. Thank. No. <clears throat> you don't want to join? Uh, no. <laughs> thanks. The Brotherhood needs you. Oh yeah. I'm, Come on. I'm out. Can I uh, chop a toe off oh, instead? Oh. It's gotta be a finger. Oh. Unless you put a blade on your foot, which could work too. We could do that. Yeah. yeah. Fox has been really nice to treat us to, you know, order whatever we want. This is... Oh, okay, that's a... It's a lot of fries, mate. Okay, okay. Thank you. So it's day three. We are all checked out and packed up. And we had a good rest last night. So back to the city today for us. And we're going to do some shopping. Well, we've made it somehow to the cafe. And we are just waiting for Veronica. Get here so we don't know what to do now. And there's the end. Our tour guide for Sydney. Not really, she's a horrible tour guide. Haha, <laughs> you're gonna hear this when the video comes out. Feel horrible. So we're done with lunch and we are now in Star Hills. And we are going to
airport, we've had dinner, we've shopped, we've packed, we've checked in, we've got our bags with us. We're complete being tourists and workers and we're on our way home. It's been a good trip and I can't I, I can't wait to get back home again. I think this is our last trip for the year. This is our last trip for the year. I'm glad we're going to be home for December, so that's a good thing. And that concludes our travels for this year. It's been crazy. See you in KL, guys. <laughs>